Today we're out at our buddy's campsite. Uh, he came out camping with us here at Westmoreland and we're gonna do the same modification to his jack that we've done to ours. And he's gonna be able to open his tailgate and put his uh, ATV in the back when he goes hunting and takes his trailer with him. Up until now, just like it was for us, dropping the tailgate was impossible because the jack head is in the way. It overhangs a little bit here, but these caps right here come off and underneath this cap, you're gonna find a bolt. And you're always going to get your fingers all nasty and black from those caps because they dry rot for whatever reason. But in this case, it's a 13 millimeter socket that it just takes to undo that bolt. There's one matching one on the other side. We're going to remove those two bolts and then we're going to rotate the jack the way we want it. But before we rotate it, we're actually going to take it off so we can get access to the holes that we need to tap. All right, now that we have two bolts out, we can freely rotate the jack, but we can also lift it and take it off. One thing to be aware of is the wire here may be so tight that you might have to remove your cover or you have to unplug it in order to get enough slack to pull it off the top. So inside this connector here is a waterproofing gasket. So what this does is it makes sure the two connectors come together and align. And then there's a gasket in there to make sure the water stays out. So just be mindful if you take those two apart that uh, you'll need to keep a hold of those. We ran into a unique challenge. The, the power wire that's directly wired to the jack head here is not long enough for us to be able to get the jack head completely off. So what we did was, and it only works on this type of setup where the weight of the trailer is not sitting on the jack itself. You wouldn't want to do this if the trailer is sitting on the jack. So safety note, pay attention to what you're doing. You can hitch up, hitch up to your truck, release the weight from the trailer, and then you can do this. But don't do that unless you are on an auto level system or other means that you've taken the weight off of the jack itself. So we'll remove the three bolts that hold the jack to the tongue of the trailer, and then we'll just tilt it enough that we get enough room to be able to do the work we need to do, and then we'll put it all back together. We've opened up the head and you can see these are the two threaded bolts that are bolts that held the top on were in, but we also have two additional bolt holes here. They just aren't threaded. So what we need is a 5 16 18 pitch thread tapered tap. Um, we'll put a link in the description for where to get these, but essentially you, you get a three pack and you can get a taper, a plug and a bottom, and we're gonna use the tapered one. So in all cases, you wanna double check that the thread of your tap meets up perfectly with the thread of your bolt, just to make sure you don't tap it for the wrong thing. Another way to check is to actually put your tap in the existing bolt hole and make sure that it threads in smoothly, just like that. Because we're going to be creating a bunch of metal shavings and the jack itself has metal or has gears inside of here. We don't want to get any metal shavings down in there. So we're going to put a paper towel down inside here just to catch what we can. There we go. And we're going to use WD-40 to lubricate the tap as it goes in just to make it a little easier and make sure it goes straight. The benefit of using a tapered tap is that the tap will gen generally try to pull itself straight into the post. To test our uh, threaded hole here. We're going to put a little WD-40 on our bolt just because we don't want it to bind up in there. And then we're going to test thread it in. It should thread in very easily by hand. And then you're going to back it out. And if you look down inside here, you can see the metal shavings that we created. And that's what we're trying to keep out of the inside of the inner workings of the jack. So as you pull the, the paper towel out, just keep a hold of it and lift up towards the side and they'll fall out and they won't fall in. Now that we have our holes tapped, we can put the jack head back on.
You just want to look through here to see that the holes line up and then we'll put our bolts in. When you tighten this up, uh, just be careful you don't over tighten it because that is just thin metal in there and it doesn't need to be super duper tight. This just keeps it in place to keep the jack head from going up and down and to rotate this way. You don't have to crank down really hard. 